Hey everybody, this is Rich down on the river. Rich's River Smokers, West Virginia. Not gonna be a cooking video, but as y'all know, I have a Meyer Mixon H2O 48 inch H2O wood burner, water cooker, yada yada. Um, but I tell you what, I've done, I've cooked on it all winter and I absolutely love that thing. So what we're gonna do for you today is a review on the Meyer Mixon 48 H2O water cooker. All right, guys, here's my Meyer Mixon 48 inch H2O water cooker. What I like, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what I like and how I like to cook on it and what I like best about it. Okay, what I like best about it is the stacks here are adjustable, okay? It's like that one there. And it's heavy. It is military insulated. I'm gonna say two or in two inches or more of insulation. And <clears throat> thing is a cooking machine. But I like also these big dials, and they are pretty accurate. Like the big faces on here. Okay. And I like this hinge. This hinge is effortless. Pull it open and you just let it go shut. That thing is fantastic hinge or latch. And of course, what I like about it is the fact of these. I love this um, seal right here. The cloth seal is the best that you, in my opinion, that you can get on both doors. A good sturdy prong for your um, thermometer stem, and you know the the nylon insulation. Also, what I so what I like about this is that water pan. That water pan can hold six and a half gallons of water all the time if you have your water hose hooked up to it. Also, the cooking space. The racks are on top of each other right now, but obviously you can have two, three, up to four racks in these things. <clears throat> and and the cooking space is, I mean, fantastic. So, and then just the mere quality is another thing that sells me on this cooker. And here is... If you have the option to get the leveling system on it, if you order brand new or if you see one used with the leveling system on it, you have um, adjustable. That's a one eighth inch. It's a one one inch and one eighth socket. Um, good luck turning with a wrench. I've tried. So, and. <clears throat> the wheels are a nine inch option wheel. If you can get the big wheels, it is a lot better to roll. And then there's the wheel lock option. Okay. And again, I mean, the quality of this smoker is just fantastic. So we'll go over here and what the real big um sell point for me on this smoker was the automated um watering system you know i love water that comes in by itself and it's got a quality a quality hookup on the back i mean just there's nothing cheap about it and that's what sold me uh, about this cooker. And here is your sight gauge. When as your cooker fills up water, it'll you know let you know how much water you have in there by looking at that. Um, and then here is the drain. It is a I think a two and a half inch ball valve, two inch ball valve. Right there, see? And I leave mine open all the time. So, 
and it'll drain water like no one's business. So by far the best, if you're gonna spend five grand on a cooker, this is the cooker that you, I mean, wood stick burner, water cooker, this is the cooker that you wanna waste five grand on. I wouldn't even say waste, I would say invest $5,000. Plus all the shipping. I was lucky enough to get it used. Um, used three times for 2500 Now, your Langs and your Jambos, I mean, they might have good fireboxes on it, but I'm going to tell you what right now. This is by far the best firebox that you could get. So... This is your firebox tray. It's very sturdy, very heavy. You put your coals in here and it gives a good coal bed or you can take it out and use the traditional, uh, I call it the fireplace rack. And you can have a nice bed of coals in there. Very nice, holds heat forever in a day. You have these, again, the nylon gaskets, which I love. Let's see. Again, I have cooked probably 10 to 15 times on this thing. And I don't know why that I didn't go ahead and drop the dime before I bought all the other smokers, but I probably wouldn't have known the difference if I wouldn't have gotten the other smokers and gotten to this. Again, this is a 48 inch Myron Mixon H2O stick burner water cooker. You can use charcoal or you can use splits. I use charcoal to get it started and then go to splits all the way through. Now, it's a pretty good size cooker. It weighs 840 pounds with no water, no fire. So to get it into this trailer right here, oops, is um, something to be reckoned with. I'll tell you. So the pros is the cook space. The cook space, again, is out of this world. I mean, you can cook um, all kind of meats. Here is the, I took a picture offline, and here it is right here in front of you, the um, specs, what you can cook per pork butt, whole chickens, chicken wings, pork butts, baby back in St. Louis, and briskets. I think the most I've had on it on the bottom rack was, um, let's see, four pork butts, two brisket, uh, three pork, three briskets, two pork butts, and ribs on top. And that's the pro. The pro is the the lining, the gaskets, nylon. A pro is the hinge. Okay, a pro definitely is the big water 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 pan, which is steel and what i do is i oil it down every time so it doesn't rust on me again another pro is the huge huge exhaust stacks a pro is a big dial diameter big dial big diameter diameter dial that i can see from the porch and um another pro is obviously the automated water system Right here, pro is going to gasket, and a pro is the humongous firebox. Now, I'm not real picky, but this thing here gets unlashed and lashed, you know, several times more than you know, 50 60 times every cook, probably. And that's holding up. I wish that would be a little bit better than that. The pro is the leveling system. There's one on all four wheels, legs. A pro is the lock and a pro is the wheels themselves, the big diameter wheels. 
And a pro again is the insulation and the quality of the, it's just a quality built smoker. I tell you, I mean, you can see them and you can see them on pictures and you can say, wow, that's a good looking smoker. I wonder how heavy it is in quality. As soon as you grab a hold of it, and start opening the doors and pushing on it, you know that you got yourself a smoker. I'll tell you that right now. The door hinges, definitely a pro. I have these things glide like, like butter. I haven't had a problem with that. Now, the pros definitely outweigh the cons on this particular cooker. So, we're going to lay it on for you, and we're going to do the cons, okay? Here's the cons. These fire dampeners could be a little bit heavier. The fun, they, I call them the throttle gas pedals. Could be a little bit better. Um, the tray is a little, could be just a tad bit better. Of course, just a tray. Um, now... What I wouldn't mind seeing is some sort of maybe a stainless steel water pan. I don't know how that would, you know, if you could do that. But I think the cost would make, the cost would would be a, a, a factor. But I like to see a stainless steel water pan versus a steel water pan where you wouldn't have to season it. Uh, well, I'd be down with oil so it wouldn't rust. Other than that's no con in there. Here's a con that I had people, I haven't had it happen to me, but if you have a bunch of fat in here and you're cooking big long cooks and you don't clean, that's where the um, water goes into the baffle for the automated water system, water comes out here. If you don't keep that clean, that will stick and that little baffle will stick and you'll either have water coming out or no water going in so that's a very important upkeep part of the smoker is to keep i'm not going to take it out but there's a float in here something like a toilet that keeps the water um full and going into your water pan now this is high quality this isn't chintzy this is not cheap this is a nice heavy quality made piece uh, piece of the cooker. Again, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a pro and a con. I like this, but I think it could be just a little more, no more sturdy. That's a con. Okay. Um. Again, on this side you have I I call it the gas pedal, the air intake. Right here, I think that's a con. It could be a little bit tighter and a little bit more better manufactured. Um, a con is the weight. I mean, I understand it's a pro and con without with the weight you have insulation and quality built smoker, but this thing weighs 840 pounds and I'm a big man. If you get in that thing, you know, if it comes down a ramp and you get in its way, you better be prepared to either hold it back or get the heck out of the way because it's going to, it's going to mow you right over. So, other than that, the pro, another pro is I cook 300, 325, 350 on this thing. And you can cook ribs in two hours. You can cook chicken in 45 minutes. You can cook pork butts in five hours. It depends on the size of it's boneless. Briskets, y'all can rip out briskets in five hours. No matter if it's 15, 20 pounds. It's just, it's a cooking machine. Um... Another con is it, if you have to use small splits to keep a temperature low where you want it to be, which is kind of what, you know, standard. But if you run a small split, you're going to be adding wood. You know, say a small split to me is two inches in diameter, maybe an inch and a quarter to, you know, eight, nine, 10, 12 inches long. That'll burn up. Say if you have cherry wood, apple wood. A wood that's really light and it's going to burn up fast. You're adding wood every 20, 25 minutes to keep it, you know, say at 300 without adding the big piece and going to 325 and 350. Um, 
and you're adding a lot. Now, the biggest pro, other than the automated answer, um, answer machine, the automated water the water system is the moisture you get in that firebox. My God, that water gets boiling into this water pan. It gets boiling in here. I mean, it gets rolling and you have steam coming out of your stacks and your meat just stays moist. And believe it or not, you know, you would think bark doesn't set in a moist environment. Not the case in this. We're going to do more cooks on it, obviously, for, for the channel. But however, if the bark sets in an hour on I had to make an adjustment. Again, the bark you form on this thing is fantastic. And I really can't think of nothing else. Oh, another con is if you don't have the option to hook your water hose up and have an automatic water system, this here is really a pain because you can fill it up. It takes six and a half gallons to fill it up, seven gallons maybe. But then after that thing gets rolling, steaming, and boiling, you're adding about two gallons every two hours. So that's the only you know, con about having an automated water system. So, guys, I don't know, man. If you want a water, water smoker, stick burner, Meyer mixing smokers is the only way to go. Um, Jambos are nice. They're not a water smoker. Um, Langs are nice, they're, but they're not a water smoker. I'm a big water smoker guy because I like to hold the moisture. Um, I think dry heat does good for you, but maybe not for me. Last season, we cooked on a drum in the backwoods, which is a water smoker, but once you put it in a pan, you really don't have the effects of the water. So anyway, this is my new cooker <clears throat> as far as competition and stick burner. Um, you go to MeyerMixingTheSmokers.com. You can check out the 36, the 48, the 60. So we're going to button this up. Stick with us. Hey, guys. That thing is a beast, isn't it? It's got military grade insulation, 840 pounds of just raw cooking steel. And man, that thing will hold temperature in the in the snow, in the in the in the cold, in the wind, in the rain. So, you know, you can go to Meyer Mixon's website, MeyerMixonSmokers.com, and you can look at the specs on the 36, 48, 60, 72, and even the 1K, man. That 1K, whew. Whew. I know they're a little pricey. Like uh, the 48 brand new is like uh, the non the enthusiast model is like $49.95 or something. That's just bare stripped. Um, you can get all kinds of different stuff. You can get uh, the leveling legs, um, which are not standard. Um, you can get um, the third rack, fourth rack, which is not standard, I don't think. Um, but... You know, I stole mine. I mean, literally. Um, I couldn't turn down the price. Um, so of all the cookers I've had, that is the cookingest machine that I've had. Now, barrel, you can't really compare it to a gateway uh, or a pit barrel because of, um, you know, the, you get the, the, the heat from the bottom. So it's its own, it's in its own world in a, in a league of its own. So go to MeyerMixersSmokers.com. The link will be right here. And, you know, check them out. Get you one if you can. If you can't, they're, um, you, you can go to Meyer Mixon uh, Smokers Facebook page. I think sometimes they're for sale there. You go to Facebook Marketplace, which is where I found mine. Um, and you might be lucky enough to find someone that's uh, um, selling theirs. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it wasn't much. So, you know, if you have subscribed, thank you. If you haven't subscribed... Hit that punch that thumbs up button. All my links are in the description box. Hit show more. There's even a PayPal down there if you feel like donating. I don't, ex I don't expect it, but it's appreciated if you do. Um, but nothing's expected to be donated. Um, the Thermalworks is in there. All my social media links. So, um, guys, share with your friends and family in the world. And when you do share with them, tell them the best barbecue comes from the river. And we'll see you on the next one.